Russia's armed forces continued to strike various cities across Ukraine on Tuesday, according to the Russian Defense Ministry's chief spokesperson. In a video released on Tuesday, Igor Konoshenkov said forces had delivered a massive strike with air and sea-based long-range precision weapons. The video was accompanied by unverified footage of rockets launching from a warship. Konashenkov said two fuel storage facilities were hit in the Dnipro-Petrovsk region and five depots for ammunition, rockets and artillery were destroyed near Mykolaiv. Today, the armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to deliver a massive strike with air and sea-based long-range precision weapons against military command and control facilities as well as the energy system of Ukraine. The goal of the strike has been reached. All assigned objectives were hit. Two bases of fuel storage for Ukrainian military equipment in the areas of Dnipro and Pavlohrad in the Dnipro-Petrovsk region, five depots of ammunition, rockets and artillery weapons, including those of Primorye Group troops of the Ukrainian armed forces near the city of Mykolaiv, were destroyed. Ukrainian soldiers conducted training in the northern operation zone near the border with Belarus to check the readiness of its units. According to official information, the military training included measures to counter sabotage and the destruction of illegal armed formations. This comes in the backdrop of Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko raising claims of Ukraine plotting an attack in Belarus. However, Ukrainian forces have ruled out moves to attack Belarus and instead voice concern on safety of the men from attacks from the Belarus side. The danger exists because the Republic of Belarus is an ally of the Russian Federation in the aggression against Ukraine. That's why we estimate the whole spectrum of threats and apply means so that those threats are not implemented by the enemy against Ukraine. A video has emerged of Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu visiting recruits called up from various Russian regions during the country's partial military mobilization. The Defense Ministry shared a video Tuesday showing Shoigu and military officials walking through a shooting range where recruits were being trained. In a statement, the ministry said Shoigu had paid special attention to the practical training of newly arrived draftees for securing the rear areas of Russia's special military operation in Ukraine. A group of young Ukrainian golfers forced to leave their war-torn homeland traveled to Scotland where they were invited to participate in a golf camp courtesy of the RNA's Women in Golf Leadership Development Program. The youngsters got to meet players at the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship at the start of October before a week of coaching at the Peebles Golf Club. The Project Ukraine Golf Camp was attended by one of the RNA's women's group members and her two daughters, together with several other youngsters. We are changing lives now. We are experiencing those moments when these kids, when they grow up um, in a few years, they will even more understand how this camp changed their pathway. Uh, in their life because of the war, like because of the situation they are now in. And um, it's inspiring, of course. Of course it's inspiring. Of course it brings you that emotion which is difficult to explain. Before war starts, I spent a lot of time with my family. And uh, I cannot even imagine that uh, I will be without my family, without my friends more than like for a couple of weeks, months. It's hard for me. Right now I'm already, I don't know how many months, more than half a year without my family. And uh, for me, it's the biggest uh, problem. So uh, it's quite hard emotionally. Moldova's president on Tuesday said missiles launched the day before from Russian ships in the Black Sea towards Ukraine crossed Moldova's airspace and therefore trespassed Moldova's airspace and neutrality. Moldova's defense ministry had said the three missiles crossed over the northern part of the country and that they posed a danger to the infrastructure of Moldova and in particular to civil aircraft flying over the country's airspace. Moldova, a former Soviet Republic which shares a border with Ukraine to the south, has been a strong supporter of Ukraine during the war.
Moldovian President Maya Sandu condemned Russia's latest barrage of military strikes as another war crime in a long list of crimes committed by Russia in Ukraine. Bombardarea și uciderea oamenilor nevinovați care își vedeau de viața lor într-o dimineață de luni. Bombarding and killing of innocent people that were minding their own business on a Monday morning is yet another war crime in a long list of crimes committed by Russia in Ukraine. We firmly condemn these crimes. Some of the 84 rockets launched yesterday towards Ukraine crossed the Moldova airspace above regions on the left side of Dniester and above Floresti and Soroka unauthorized. This is a trespassing of our airspace and of Moldova's neutrality. Moldova is a peaceful country. We've said this many times and each time we have proved it. We respect the territorial integrity and the sovereignty of other countries and we demand our borders to be respected equally. We do everything to keep peace in our country, but the pressure that we are under rises every day. Efforts to split us and to destabilize the situation in the country are more frequent and are more serious than ever. Protesters rallied in Sydney, Australia on Tuesday to condemn Russia's recent attacks on Ukraine. About 100 people carrying Ukrainian flags and placards marched through the city streets shouting, Russia is a terrorist state. Russia's armed forces continued to strike various cities across Ukraine on Tuesday, according to the Russian Defense Ministry's chief spokesperson. In a video released on Tuesday, Igor Konoshenkov said forces had delivered a massive strike with air and sea-based long-range precision weapons. The video was accompanied by unverified footage of rockets launching from a warship. Konashenkov said two fuel storage facilities were hit in the Dnipro-Petrovsk region and five depots for ammunition, rockets and artillery were destroyed near Mykolaiv. Today, the armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to deliver a massive strike with air and sea-based long-range precision weapons against military command and control facilities as well as the energy system of Ukraine. The goal of the strike has been reached. All assigned objectives were hit. Two bases of fuel storage for Ukrainian military equipment in the areas of Dnipro and Pavlohrad in the Dnipro-Petrovsk region, five depots of ammunition, rockets and artillery weapons, including those of Primorye Group troops of the Ukrainian armed forces near the city of Mykolaiv, were destroyed. Ukrainian soldiers conducted training in the northern operation zone near the border with Belarus to check the readiness of its units. According to official information, the military training included measures to counter sabotage and the destruction of illegal armed formations. This comes in the backdrop of Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko raising claims of Ukraine plotting an attack in Belarus. However, Ukrainian forces...